The world's most silent room, said to be one of the most dangerous places in the entire world. It's crazy. It's weird. Currently, the world record for the longest time ever spent in there is held by me. But recently, I've been hearing some rumors about some American YouTubers trying to beat my time. So today, I'm making sure that nobody can ever beat that record ever again. As with last time, we tried to get Guinness World Records on board to certify and make the record legitimate. Uh, but they said it was too dangerous. Again, seeing as I was attempting to clock multiple hours inside this room, I was advised to bring along a medic, you know, just in case anything went wrong. If you survive the hour and a half <laughs> to break the record, what's going to happen is your sense of balance will be affected. When you get up to leave, you will stagger like a drunk person. I would also be hooked up to an ECG monitor and a blood oxygen machine, which would basically alert those outside the room if anything were to go wrong. This is some serious shit today. So if you're new to the channel, just hit the subscribe button down below. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. It's very hard to show you guys and girls exactly what the room feels like. Um, last time we popped a balloon. This time we brought along an air horn. Now listen to how crazy this is. All right, now we're in the uh, silent room. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? It's time. Let's begin. Goodbye, Ryan. Have fun. Thank you. The rules are as follows. I can speak for one minute every 15 minutes. No sleeping or fainting. Must be constantly monitored. The room has to be dark unless tests are being carried out. Sound must stay below 25 decibels when I'm not speaking. And I can leave at any time. Six. Going dark. Oh, wow. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, that is 15 minutes. Way different than uh, than last time. It's so quick, and I've got the I've got the tinnitus thing again. Like I can hear all my club in history. I'm in for a long one here. How are we holding up out there? I've got 17 seconds to speak. They're not responding. <laughs> you think it's gonna do all right? I'm gonna give him two and a half hours. He's feeling a bit unwell. I'm gonna go two hours, 15. And the medic? I'd say four hours, I've got faith him in. All right, 31 minutes have passed, meaning that I am allowed to speak again for one minute. That is the fastest 31 minutes I've ever had in my entire life. I don't know why, I felt this last time. Two more of these and, and the record's broken again. Yes, mate, how you doing? We've got 30 seconds, be quick. Can you hear your stomach rumble? I can hear my neck cracking. I can hear uh, tinnitus. Only in my right ear, left ear's good. My stomach's not rumbling that much. I've had some water. I turned off this machine. I've got three seconds left. Goodbye. Fuck. I was starting to become annoyed by these tiny lights in the room. So I just decided to use some ripped cloth to cover them. Just being a bit of a weirdo, to be honest. Um, right, 47 minutes in here now. A wave of sickness has just hit me. I feel very sick right now. I don't know why. I guess it's something to do with my ears. But I didn't feel this last time, so yeah. I forgot to say the last time I turned off the ECG thing because it was making a subtle like whirring sound, right? But when I was turning it off, I switched it to like defib relator mode <laughs> and I absolutely shut myself. Adult mode. Stay clear. Oh, I got 10 seconds left to speak, but I saw it out, it's off. I didn't kill myself. Two fingers up, one hour has passed. There's no way that's an hour. There's no way. Time moves differently in here, you know. I'm feeling all right. 
I'm feeling okay that sickness is gone. Starting to see some stuff out of my peripherals. I can hear my blood flow in my ears, my neck cracking, some whooshing around. But the, the peripherals are starting to like move around a little bit, my brains. There's stuff over here. <laughs> There's stuff over here. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I can't speak in a minute, though. I can't speak now. I decided that maybe if you cover up hallucinations, they won't be real. The next time that I can speak, I'll have broke the world record. Whose world record was it? It was mine. I'm starting to see stuff around the room, like there is just a person standing over there, like in that corner right now, actually. There's someone standing there. But that's fine, because it's not real. Let's get you to walk in a straight line for us. He's so, he's so disorientated. <laughs> Look at him, he's, he doesn't know what to do. I didn't even notice that I'd broken the record. I just completely lost track of time, but only because there is a greater goal in mind, a time that nobody will ever beat ever again. World record made. Come on, who's that schmuck that we beat before? New world record, but at what cost? <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's just some stuff like moving around like over in the corner and stuff like that. You know, casual, casual. Last time I like let it happen, this time I'm just shutting it down because we've got a long time left in here. I decided it was time to start drawing some of the hallucinations I was having in the room. But there was one problem. I was in complete darkness. I wasn't even looking at the paper half the time and you'll see at the end, but the drawings actually turned out surprisingly good. Stand on one leg for us. Wow, that wasn't fucking fun. I'm not going to look at my drawing yet. That was the worst 15 minutes. That fucking corner, like last time, I was like imagining rats running around the room. This time, there's like a, a white ghost in that corner. And then my balance started to go. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, I turned off my walkie-talkie because of the fucking noise. And now I've got five seconds left. Kill me. <sighs> more hallucinations equals more drawings. But it was literally the only entertainment I had two hours and 20 minutes in a completely dark and silent room. You're well over two hours now. How are you finding everything? I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm fine. I'm tired, I'm cold, and I can hear my blood very clearly through my ears. Two hours 40. <laughs> that is jokes. <laughs> this woman's still there, bruv. I'm so cold. Two hours, 55 minutes and some seconds. I don't know why this room's getting so cold. It's because probably because it's haunted over in that fucking corner. I'm gonna get up and go for a walk. I'm gonna try and walk in a straight line. See you guys in 50. I actually can't walk properly. Hey, 
Yeah, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I'm um, basically just like, it's like torture at this point because we've had our fun, we've had the downs, and then like some have just stayed, so I've got seven seconds left. I can hear my blood, I can hear my neck, I can hear my heart, I can hear everything. Then my worst nightmare happened. The machine was beeping. In blue bottom right was my blood oxygen levels. They should always be between 95 and 100%. I was really starting to struggle. Now it was starting to get really hard. My mind was playing endless tricks that I couldn't stop. I'd never experienced this before. I just felt like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How are you feeling cold wise? There was a few worries that if you were getting colder and colder then we might want to think about pulling you out at some point, but just let us know how you're feeling. My hands are freezing, but I'm okay. Let's push on, final stretch. I've just been drawing to pass the time. It's funny because I'd like to draw what's in the room, but at the same time, I can't see the paper at all. It's all fun and games. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, I'm not going to lie. I did it. Do I want to come out? Yeah, I would love to come out. I'm not over four hours yet though, that's in seven seconds. Four hours. It's definitely time to come out. I feel so fucking weird. I feel like I haven't fucking blinked in a year. What an experience. Never again. I've been through so many emotions. I've laughed, cried, legitimately scared. Drugs, alcohol, silent rooms, add it to the list. I'm so hungry. Good luck beating this. Fucking hell, get me out of here. I've been seeing like random flashes of light around the room, like a star. Like... And then for some weird reason, I started crying. So time to come out, I think. There's like waves running through my eyes, like waves of light. <laughs> it actually probably is my blood. Lamau, 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 Lamau. It's time, they're gonna turn the lights on. Fucking hell. Fucking bright, oh my god. Four hours, 15 minutes, 55 seconds. Now let's see what I drew. This is gonna be so funny. Oh shit, oh, oh my god. I nailed the woman in the corner. And then I, I tried to cross her out to get rid of her, but I missed, so that's probably why she didn't go. She goes when I draw. The issue is that she looks real, like legit. <laughs> Up next, it's a different color. It's so cold. It's probably me, but it's so cold. I'm so hungry. Look at that. She's in the middle of the door. Oh my God, that was me in the box. <sighs> Never again. He's still alive. Okay, I'm just gonna do it, ready? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yo, this sounds so weird. It does feel a bit weird, you know. You did great. I can't believe you did four hours, 22 minutes. I knew I'd And the trophy, come on. See, see this Guinness World Records? This is what it could have been. You said it was too dangerous, and look at me now, I can walk the blue line. <laughs>